Welcome to Eat Your Backyard. It is time to talk tamarind trees. Eat Your Backyard community, you know we planted a couple here about a year ago, and I also successfully finally grew them from seeds. If you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe to Eat Your Backyard. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. Let's get into the content and talk about where my tamarind tree journey is today. In this video, we're gonna really dive into tamarind trees. We're gonna take a look at one that's in the northern shady part of my yard. We're gonna take a look at one that's in the southern sunny side of my yard. And we're gonna take a look at a bunch I've got growing in pots in various configurations. And we could talk about how easy it is to grow those. I hope you'll stay for the whole video. Let's get into it. Now, if you look at this fine specimen, this is a sweet Thai tamarind. And I got it at a nursery down in Sebastian, Florida. I just kind of let it do whatever it wanted to do for about the first year. And then, well, about a month ago, I staked it up with a nice firm fiberglass pole. This is one of those miracle Grow fiberglass poles that are pretty sturdy. They're about six feet long. And I taped it with grafting tape. So it's a very gentle fit. In order to promote this tree to get taller instead of wider, I wanted to utilize this middle area. It's an understory kind of uh, setup. Now I've also got one in the front yard. So let's go out and take a look at that. That is a much more direct sun application and I'll show you how it's doing in those conditions. Okay, so here we are looking at the tamarind tree that I've got in my front yard. It had been weeping down as well. Once again, tied it to one of these fiberglass posts using the grafting tape. I expect it to perk up. I just gave it some bunny manure fertilizer down at the base, a decent amount, and that's gonna really help it jump, that's for sure. That'll bring the worms, that'll bring the right soil material you wanna have in place for this kind of tree to grow well. But this is another uh, sweet Thai tamarind, and I would say at one point it had more leaves. It's kind of you know, winter time here, December, so it has lost a few leaves. I think it's going to greatly invigorate once we get into the spring months. So if you wanna track its progress or maybe see if you'd grow one in your backyard, go ahead and check it out in future videos in Eat Your Backyard. Okay, now let's look at some I've got growing. I love to grow small fruit trees. It's a really fun hobby of mine and uh, I've really suddenly had success with this exotic tree. Okay, so this is a little grow table that I set up. I actually had a whole series I did in this area called What You Got Growing On. Go check out that series in Eat Your Backyard if you like that kind of stuff, where I grew a bunch of different things. Well, I still use it all the time, and this is where I've got the tamarind growing. So I've currently got a control set here growing in pots. Look about like that. Not bad. I grew this from a seed by soaking the seed for several days in water and cracking the shell off and then planting them. And uh, I planted them in a pile in a pot and just all of them grew and then I separated them. There you have it. Now these are sour tamarind. Can you believe it? I like the sour, you know. You have to leave in the comments, let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like the sour tamarind. All right, so these three I'm growing without bunny manure. These three, I applied bunny manure recently a good amount in all three, and I want to see if there's any difference. So you can follow along to see, of course there will be. And then all the way over here, I have one that I planted in a larger pot and it is getting much larger than the others in the smaller pots. So nice little uh, thing to notice. That's an important permaculture principle, which is observe and interact. That's a very important thing to do. I do it all the time. It's one of the secrets to my success one of the key permaculture principles that I put into practice that gets me to where I need to be. Hey, look, a lemon. You like lemons? Yeah, I just picked one from the tree right there. This is where you can be, where you can just walk around your backyard like it was the Garden of Eden and just pick fruit and eat it at will. Let's pick some more fruit. Ah, the bounty. Aw, oh, look, a little baby star fruit. Polish it off with the shirt. Uh, 
That's a good star fruit. Mm-hmm. That's a real good star fruit. Okay, sorry, I got a little distracted. So now you've seen it. Tamarind in the shade, tamarind in the sun, and also tamarind in the pot growing. And we're even gonna see what happens when one has bunny manure on it, one doesn't. See what the growth difference is. We already saw what the larger pot did, and I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay, thanks for watching. Glad you joined me. Thanks for staying all the way to the end. See you back or on future live streams. We live stream on weekends quite regularly. Love to see you there. Thanks for watching. Eat your backyard.